Hi everyone, this is George Daniel. We're going to be tying the Bunker Buster. To get started, we have a Wopsy Super Jig 16th of an ounce hook. For the tail, this is going to be a brightly colored variation. It's going to be chartreuse, marabou, about one and a half times the length of the hook shank. Thread, I'm currently using is a 6 aught light olive, even though color doesn't matter all that much. For the tail and the flash, this is going to be Orvis Crinkle Mirror Flash in color lime. Cut off about seven or eight strands. Tie that in on the side, a little pinch technique. Fold that forward. Now we're going to pull this over to the other side. Tie that towards us. Strands are going to be cut just slightly beyond the length of the marabou. And with this pattern, the Bunker Buster, often I fish this pattern in very gaudy, brightly colored variations. And the reason being is that when you're jigging these patterns, because the fly is not really being actively moved or retrieved, when the fish hits this fly or eats it, the takes are not going to be all that hard and often because you're not going to be able to actually feel the strike what we're looking for is to see the fly disappear and by having a color like this like a chartreuse the moment I see that chartreuse disappear is going to be an indication that I should set the hook so we have our flash the body is a hairline polar reflector chenille this is going to be yellow and this chartreuse and yellow variation has been a great one for me last couple years just fishing high dirty water what we're gonna do is just wrap that one wrap right next to the other keeping tension on the core of the chenille wrapping forward twisting and turning try and get those fibers staying straight up and then we can always give it a comb over once we're done a little twist we're going to wrap until we have about maybe three wraps or so left. Chenille. And just leave a bare hook shank. Cut that chenille off. And what I like about this pattern, it's a simple pattern to tie. Because with these jigs, you're fishing them like a nymph, down deep and close to the stream bottom, you're going to be losing a lot of these flies. So what's great about this pattern is that it's easy to tie, so when you do lose it, you don't lose too much sleep. For the collar, we're going to have chartreuse schlopping. We're going to tie this in tip first. So we have the smaller, shorter fibers first. And then as we continue wrapping, hopefully we'll end with some of the nicer, webbier, wider sections of that feather right up against the lead jig. Straight up and down. So we got some flash and the polar reflector chenille. Now we're going to have some movement, some natural materials tied right in. A couple more wraps right there. There's our collar. Secure that. Kind of wet your fingers, pull these fibers back. It doesn't have to be like fine English furniture. As long as the fish likes it, we're okay. And for the, the legs, we're going to have a speckled chartreuse and black fleckle, I think they call it. And we're going to tie this in. We're going to take two strands, kind of tie this in right in the middle, and then fold that back. What I like about this technique is that when the fish does take, or because of the teeth of a fish, you're not likely to pull the legs out. They're bent in half and there's very little likelihood of these legs getting pulled out. So again, all we're going to do is take two fibers, two strands of this leg material, and just tie that in like that. A couple wraps, and then fold the other two strands back and secure it. Lock that in. 
We're gonna whip finish. Again, if you really want to, you could do a, a nicer collar, take a little bit more time, but when I'm fishing these patterns, it's often in high dirty water, and I'm not overly concerned of making sure that this head is beautifully finished. As long as it looks okay to the fish, which it has been in the past, I'm okay with it. So right there is just a bunker buster. Just